<sighs> oh, that was awesome. Awesome yawn there, bro. We are now ready. unmuted. Let me turn yeah. this off. Okay. All are right. you ready to do this, bro? Yeah, pal. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Louie went to change his sweater again. <sighs> Damn it. All right. Here we go. Sorry. I was getting a battery. I was getting a battery. We're good. All right. Are you ready? I read it. Here we go. What's going on, friends? It is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. You've got pal swagons down here in the corner. Hey, it's Sunday. We're missing two. We're missing two, but that's okay. You know what's going to happen? We're going to have a good show anyway. We're going to do our thing, and we're going to have a back-to-back high-end vape forum action this Sunday and next Sunday. So be prepared. Me and Swags are going to bring it to you today. I want you guys to sit back, grab a vape, grab a coffee, depending on where you are in the world. For me, I've got a big old truck stop, 44-ounce soda pop. Mm. Mm. I finished my coffee. It's empty now. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. We got some exciting things to talk about today. Except no imitations. Except, wait, expect no limitations. No, stop it. See, you you, you were going to say it right this time, and you expect messed no it up. Expect no limitations? You're a terrible person. <laughs> a place for discussion. Smash. Boom! <clears throat> hey, trans. There we go. It didn't want to transition. Why is my drink way over here? Hello, everyone. It is the high end vape form. Swaggins, how are you? Oh, man. I am so good. I've been up for two hours. Uh, just getting it. Just let's get it. Let's you, get it. You, you've only been up for two hours? Uh, wait. No, I've been up since 10. So there's, was it three hours? It's 1 p.m. now. I was up late last night. I literally took both of these mods i have two of these i'm basically going into my buffet but sorry uh, i have two of these because i love the cycloid version 2.1 the mech this mech swanker i took these apart because these buttons need to be swapped you literally have to take it apart, completely apart in order to get the buttons out so it was kind of daunting because i was a little um i was a little it was an altered state of mind it was like two in the morning and i decided why not i asked the people on discord i was like should i do this and they were like yeah totally this is a great time to do this <laughs> it took forever but i feel really accomplished so you're you're vaping on two cycloids right now what else yeah. are you vaping on well on top of them i have uh i have the dlc jenna and i have the dlc skyfall um and inside of both of those, interestingly enough, is Tango Melon. And you might think to yourself, that's weird, but it isn't because honestly, it tastes different in both these setups and delicious in both of these setups. And those rare Different Earth and nights, delicious yeah. and nutritious. And I'm vaping on the Stratum V4, Pro White Delrin, whatever. <laughs> One of my dwarves. God bless you, sir. Oh, um, it was so dry. With the MIDI, the MIDI uh, bottom fill from Steam Tuners, they look beautiful, but they're a pain in the ass. If you have one, you know why. If you don't, ask in the chat, and I'll explain further. But for right now, I'm just going to say that. SX485J. Uh, inside of that, I have that Pyongyang juice. It's uh, pudding milk. And uh, it's actually... Uh, pudding milk? Yeah, it's Vitaly's favorite juice, and it's really good, actually. So I've been oh, drinking I don't believe stuff. you, or Vitaly. It tastes like it tastes like milk tea. It just tastes like a milk tea. Um, okay. With, with with like is sweet, but it's a milk tea. Um, and then I'm vaping on the Omega by Vicious Ant in a colorway that I never would have chosen, which is kind of grown on me because it's like this is not something I would have selected, but I like it because it's not too flamboyant um black and orange and whatnot um and i'm really enjoying this and inside of that there's tango melon as well because i am really interesting um 
that's basically <laughs> what I'm vaping on those four setups right there. And I'm loving the cycloid right now. I've had one of these on my shelf. I bought one a while back because I was like, I really want one of these cause they're sexy. And actually I bought my checkmate off of a guy. He was like, I was like, why are you selling your checkmate? And he was like, well, you know, I bought a cycloid 2.1 and I just love it so much that it's all I want to vape from here on out. And I was like, crazy man, whatever. And I bought his, his, uh, checkmate. And then, you know, two months later I bought one of these secondhand and I put, left it on my shelf cause I wasn't able to appreciate it at the time. And I finally, I sold a bunch of mech, mech squonkers. If you've been following me, I've sold probably four or five. You said the off. same thing about the rat. Dude, I love the rat. I have the rat I know, right here. But that's why you had two rats. Yeah, I have two rats. <clears throat> um, Was that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Cool. Let me run through real quick. Say what up to a few people in chat. I've seen some questions. We got Chad Dotson in the house. Mike in LA. What's up, bro? Um, Subaru Nerd Vapes is in the house. Charlie is here. Ayo, Vape. What is up, my dude? We 0609 has been made a wrench as well as Mac Tandon. Thank you very much for being here. Those guys are awesome moderators on the High End Vape Forum Facebook group. Um, Mailman Vapes 2 is in the house. Broken Open says Stan. What's up, dude? Philly Vape. Fictitious character. Thank you very much for being here, wrenches. You guys are awesome. Um, Alex McKenzie. Uh, let's see. Swamp Squonk Mike asked if we were flying solo today. We are flying solo. It seems that <clears throat> Louie had an emergency at work and pal vapes also had to run into work. So that's why we're doing back to back so we can get everybody back on their schedules. Um, actually pal vapes, we messed up his schedule by missing last week. So we're yeah. getting back on schedule with pal. We're giving you guys double the content. Um, so next week pal will be back. Louie hopefully won't have another work emergency, so he'll be back too with a new fresh sweater for you. Um, we 0609 says Stan is vaping that wasp spray. No, I just forgot to squonk. Um, what else? Robert Riggin, what's going on? Jacoby Vapes, Leo Barry, Walter Poblit. Seldom catch the show live, and only half the gang is here. I know, bro. I'm sorry, but we're we're gonna we're gonna deliver for you. I promise. Um, this is the best half, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, it. <laughs> George, George Neufeld says, if someone could answer this for me, my manager and I were arguing about this. If you have half a full bottle of six milligram juice, and if you spill half of it out, how much nicotine is left? The juice in the bottle is still six milligram. <clears throat> a That's... full bottle of six milligram juice and you spill half of it out how much nicotine is left um half of a bottle of six milligram you're welcome yeah it's still six milligram juice uh the way that the nicotine works is it's it's six milligram per milliliter right yeah yeah so uh yeah you've got six milligrams it's still six milligram juice um okay so here we go. Boom. I today am vaping on more prop look, this setup is probably one of my favorites that I own. It's my DPM Mage. This is called the Mage. Magi. Magi uh Juma Dual 18650 DNA 75C with the Skyfall on it. I love this mod. Um I love it even more now that they have the new bottle uh system that they use. And I thought I lost it and my heart was broken and it had my sky fall on top with my, um, who makes this cap? The I thought cap. you had the Juma cap on there. No, I got this cap from uh stratum from Vitaly at stratum store. And it's, I don't remember who makes it, but it's a dope cap. It's a dope RDA. It's a dope mod. I'm also rocking the ground cloud. No, not ground cloud. Um, um, Ground cloud innovations, SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Ground there we go. SoundCloud. Wait, no wait, is it SoundCloud? It is SoundCloud. Let me just double check and make sure that I know. Cloud, too many cloud clouds. Sound. SoundCloud. Disturbing is... cloud. Huh? Disturbing cloud. SoundCloud. It's it's SoundCloud, right? Sound of Addies makes makes the it's Sire all. Sire your sound. It's SoundCloud. Damn it! It is the note. 
mech mod with the whisper on top. All from Greece. I absolutely love this mech mod. I've recently got it a couple weeks ago, and I've been rocking and rolling it. I got the kit with the 18350 mod as well. I just really like the 18650 action. <coughs> Loud Cloud. <clears throat> That's what it is. Loudcloud.nz. Um, Thank you, Black. This is the note. I got... Oh, wow. It has a... I didn't realize it had the serial number. Dude, can you tell me, can anybody in chat or the gentleman from Greece, the island of Crete, or Kreda, can you tell me how to pronounce your name? Is it Udpok Makpanku? What? Is that how you pronounce your name, bro? Also, 67 Stymie Vapor, uh, 67 Go, 18350. It has the DNA Go chip inside, which is really cool because you can take the face off and I don't want to turn it over but the buttons are in there there's the chip right there bam it's all magnetized so kind of cool kind of awesome you can I've got some ultim buttons and stuff coming face and all that um, on top of that is the 415 RTA in this setup I don't know is your setup like mine or is your setup different mine has all of the extras yours has everything except for the um little uh afc ring i'm pretty sure this thing basically is an orion with an rta on top and a removable battery and uh i like this better mm. <laughs> just saying also we've got the vicious ant omega um uh, 18650 and yeah inside all of these i am rocking inside my mouth to lungs i'm rocking vaptasia six milligram strawberry custard um, inside this guy, I've got a fresh bottle of Karango that I'm Ooh. rocking from Transistor. And inside this guy, I don't know where my bottle is, but this is the uh, One Hit Wonder um, Blueberry Parfait Rocket Man. Mm. So that's, that's what I'm rocking. I've just I, I've been nostalgic for that juice. That juice is yeah. what I I love. That juice. I it I started with. One hit wonder, man. Isn't that the juice that used to come? Like it came with the big bottle, right? But it came with like two or three of those little, those little cheap unicorn bottles or whatever. The little like the like ten mils, but they were stretched out. Jay Hayes hates this mod. <laughs> he put said, that "Put that down." down. Wow, <laughs> dude, Jay. Like I respect your opinion, but I am thoroughly enjoying this mod. Yeah. I we'll thoroughly have, am enjoying. We'll have a this conversation mod. about it in the future. We're going to talk about it today, but then half of our uh, actually plan decided not to show up because all four of us on the panel got one. Um, we're going to actually talk about it next week. We're going to give all of our opinions and like. Have we're not like talking a... about it next week because next week we are talking about a different mod. Oh really? Mm -hmm, the twenty eighth. Well, we're in the future, we're going to have a show dedicated to talking about this Omega because yes. I'm sure we all have different opinions and different things we like or dislike about it. And uh, we're going to really – because Dude. it's been such – it's been one of those things that's uh, had a lot of hype around it. So we're going to talk about it. Speaking of Across Vape caps, available now. Oh, yeah, Across Vape. That store, I got this Across Vape cap for my Dwar, and I, I bought a mod pretty much just to get this uh, custom Cerakoted Dwar to add to my collection but it looks mean it's got its own it's top fill and it's got a, a juice flow control it's freaking great if i had to choose between the omega or the billet box man um oh i could tell you well we could talk about that briefly but we could say we want to yeah talk i want to save that whole discussion yeah. but uh go think ahead. about it this way yeah think about it this way no one's do done it or doing it currently but you know, I consider the Omega to be a billet box for RDA vapors. You know, somebody who doesn't like a rebuildable, rebuildable RTA section bridge, if you will, or a coil head, you're getting an RDA vape and an all in, like with a squonk bottle. It's an all in one experience with an RDA vape that you don't get with a billet box. There aren't any RDA sections for billet boxes and no one. So you would it. take the the Omega over to billet box if you, all right, I would I be the opposite of that. I my billet box, you know this. I would go billet box 
over the Omega if I had to choose one or the other. If I had a gun to my head and I had to choose, I'd go Billet Box. But we will discuss that in a lot more in depth. We've got other things to talk about today. Um, <clears throat> I just want to make this clear because Jay Hayes said in the in the chat, he said, "Think about how vicious Ant sent it, sent it to everyone." Pathetic. That's that's fine. They did send it to us to look over and review because we have a decent relationship with vicious ant they're good people um so we will be discussing it now it will not affect you guys know by now if we have an opinion or a negative opinion or a positive opinion we're going to tell you either way yeah. so we just want to make sure that we all are in here to talk about it so that that way we can have a good discussion and if we have disagreements or whatever we can positively discuss all those points in a uh respectful manner yeah bill um, Hawks does more options we'll talk about this later Jeez, yeah. i want to talk about it right now is ready to talk about it but it, i have a lot of feelings about it and we're going to talk about it when we have everybody here so that way i can people can give me shit if they want to or they can you know ask me to further a point i'm gonna wait we're gonna wait um okay so we wanted to discuss a little bit swags was going on and on about these uh about these mech mods he's got <clears throat> um and uh we were discussing, and I said, let's save it for the show, because before the show, we were discussing the buy-sell trades, and uh, Swag's got a hold of one, and he wants to get rid of it, okay? And he posted it up in, why don't you tell us what happened, Swag's? Oh, and yeah, we'll so we're talking it. about, right now, we're talking about my core 1.5, so I don't know if anybody's ever been there, but I mean, obviously, things are a little bit unique in my situation, because now, you know... I'm part of running a group, the High End Vape Forum. I mean, there are other groups that I'm ad admin in, but this one, like, I'm looking for stuff to waffle, to make things interesting, to provide opportunities for you guys um, that are interested. But I have this core design. Uh, you may have seen it in the BST. It's the V1.5. I had I reached out to Alessandro and had him make this for me. It's the engraved white Delrin. Um, and basically I got it and I wanted to put, I bought it for the purpose of waffle. Um, and I bought it, right? And I put an Addy on it cause I wanted to take a picture of it and I screw the Addy on and then I take the Addy off and there's an Addy swirl. And I'm like, crap, a brand new mod never fired. And now like I just lost value on it. Like I, I think it was 3.30 to my door and I was going to basically waffle it for RRP, um, which was, you know, 300, 300, I'd say 280, 285 Euro. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I may waff, I wanted to waffle it, but now that it's a blem, I'll throw it up in the BST. If someone wants to buy it outright, maybe that'll be, you know, I'll just do that. And Did you so, say why it was a blem? I didn't hear. Yeah. There's an Addy swirl mark it on the top. It came with an Addy swirl on it. No, well, I, I honestly couldn't tell you if it did or it didn't because I looked at it and I was like, oh, this is cool. Let me put an Addy on it. You know how, when you get excited about something, you're not yeah. like, like, oh, let me look at every little part. So I'm sure it, it didn't come with it. It's just a little Addy swirl mark. See that little mark right there? No, but I believe you. That little mark. Okay. Here, let me let me like, do this. Let me do this. Bam. Bam. There you go. Basically now, now I, everybody can see. I do put it an Addy again. on it. I put like a I put my solo, my DDP solo or D mod solo RDA on top to take a picture of it because I thought it would look cool, whatever. Like think about uh <laughs> about like straight dot store or somebody like they they have a mod and they want to like take product photos and put it up so you can see what it looks like with an addy and whatnot so i take the addy off and then i have this mark on it and i'm like well now i don't know whether or not i want to waffle it so maybe i'll just sell it as like a blem and i and i write new never fired you know nine out of ten blem and in parentheses addy swirl and i put it up in rbst and it's fine and then I put it up in UMI, the Unicorn uh, Mod International or whatever, Unicorn Mods International. And they approve my post. The admin approves my post. And then I feel like he just approved it so he could throw like a condescending comment underneath to say, if it's got an Addy swirl mark, it's not new. And, I, and then I just responded back and said, new, quotation marks, never fired, 9 out of 10, blem. I mean, what do people do when they have a blemish? So like my whole issue is, is, is it new? Never is it new because it's never fired. It just um, has it has a blemish on. on it. I never fired it. Hold on, yeah. something something wrong is happening right now. Is the show gone? No, I'm seeing myself. And then is Gary it, is it said, still... "Welcome to the Swagging Show, special guest Stan." Yeah, right. No, something. It's saying there's an issue. What? 
something is wrong here. Is this is the show still working on YouTube? I'm waiting for it to catch up. It's still playing, dude. That's so weird. It's like I sidetrack everything, but it's cool. I was about to go on a tirade. I think yeah, guys... I can tell. I can tell. But no, there's a um. The, it, it told me that I was signed out, and then it's telling me it's not re receiving. I, I don't know what the heck is happening with with YouTube right now. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm going back into the control room so I can see the chat. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Uh, my apologies for stopping you on. Yeah, your... do you want to keep talking about it out loud, or do you want to like let me fill the air while you figure out what's going Go on? Go ahead. Or... Go. Well, okay. Let Let's just Let's just take it. Let's just take it to you. Put it into the you put it into the BSTs because you're gonna get rid of it, right? You yeah, said I, just, I wasn't sure whether or not it would be cool to still waffle it when it's blemished. You know? Well, no, but I thought we were going to talk about um, what actually happened with you putting it into the BST. Yeah, exactly. I put it in the UMI BST, the only other one other than ours, and I immediately got a comment from one of the admins saying, it's not new, you need to change that. And I was like, it's never been fired, it's new, it's just a blemish. And he's like, how could it be new if there's an Addy swirl? And I was like, how can you be that much of an idiot? And so I said, you know what? It's new, never fired. If you don't like that, you can delete the post. And then I deleted the post because I didn't want to be too much of a dick, but just a minute and a half's worth of a dick. So I posted it just long <laughs> the admin to see that I was like, you're an idiot. Um, and then I deleted it. All right. So I hope the... you're watching this show, whatever your name is, you idiot. <laughs> Enjoy your power. <clears throat> I'm All right. It life. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. We were discussing what makes it uh, okay. I I'm on I'm on your team, bro. I believe that that you posting it as new, nine out of ten, never fired, but it has a blemish on it. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So, I guess the whole question is, I guess there's not really in a conversation to be. Well, I guess there is. What makes this guy? What makes it okay for this guy to tell you that it's not new? Who is he to tell you that it's not new? I mean, you're a trustworthy guy. You have good good feedback from all kinds of people you've done deals with. Um, who is he to tell you that it's not brand new? Exactly. It's like calling me a liar without knowing me. It's like, excuse me? So so that, that whole thing just irritates the hell out of me. Um, if you are a moderator in a buy-sell trade, you need to pay attention to who you are like that. You are not an end all be all on, on if somebody's got a product that they're putting in the buy sell trade, they are abiding by all the rules because the rules are a big deal. Yes. If you're not abiding by the rules, then your, your post is out of there. Our moderators stick to the rules. They're good people. Um, usually moderators are good people, but there's a couple of groups out there that they're a little big for their britches. Uh, in, in a sense. So if somebody's got a post and they're putting it up and it abides by all the rules, yeah, it's up to your discretion whether you leave it or not. But you need to be paying attention to to the person's feedback, who the person is, you know, like how many deals they've done in those situations. Um, because otherwise you're just being an ass, in my opinion. Uh, so there's, there's, there's my stance on that. Theo. Well, Theo, nice to meet you, bro. Um, basically, sorry, that was uh, our friend from Greece that was telling me his name is Theo. Nice to meet you, Theo. Hopefully you're in the group on Facebook so we can chat with you, see your hand checks. I love a lot of the stuff that comes out of Greece. I think a lot of us do. MKs, Jokos, ESG, all that stuff. Um, oh, but thank outside, you, Theo. Welcome. Yeah. Sorry, outside go ahead. Of that, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm wondering whether or not to waffle it after all. Like I bought it to waffle. Kind of like I bought that I bought that um that sweet BT customs box, the Squarius XL. I bought that at a show to waffle so you guys could have access to it. I mean, clearly you can go to the groups and you can contact the people and you can see how you go about getting your hands on stuff, but Sometimes it's nice to have a little diversity. We could do a 303 every month, which is great. I mean, it's a $600 mod that you're possibly winning for 20 bucks, but it's nice to have diversity. So I'm trying to think out of my own pocket, I buy something and want to waffle it so you guys can have access to it because it's like, it's like almost like it's my hand selected choice. 
I chose this one. It's like the Stormtrooper out version. This is what I would buy. And it's like, all right, well, let me waffle this out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have crazy wild colors like Stan does because Stan loves colors. I'm like, give me the Stormtrooper with a little green bottle accents. But uh, I might, you might see a waffle up for it tomorrow unless it sells today because um, I'm going to leave it up in the BST. But regardless, I bought it to waffle. Similarly, I've got this guy right here. Jay, Jay, Jay Hayes just offered me $1,000 to throw a mod up against the wall. <laughs> Freaking, he's trying to, to disrupt Any the hell out of our show. No, I think he wants the Omega. Um, <clears throat> now, dude, that is that, 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 that mod right there is mine. I don't care how much it costs that one right there that you have in your hand. I know that you're talking about getting rid of it. That's mine. That goes to so, nobody. But so me. you heard it here first. I was going to waffle it off. No, nope, that's mine. That's it. That's mine. Um, I but any more of these, if you guys want swags to offer up the core in the high invade forum as a waffle, the blim core nine out of 10 never fired then uh and it's still i know it's not fired so <clears throat> then hit an x1 in the chat and we will get that settled we will go ahead and waffle that for you swags will go ahead and waffle that for you um what else what else were we talking about swags <sighs> no nah, well we were just talking about that i mean in essence just certain people i mean in our bst i think we kind of just keep it 2k Dude, okay, look. I'm not All right, stupid. Let's just, hey, you know what? I like the mod a lot, but I'm not stupid. It's two thousand dollars. You, you're messing with me, man. I look. You don't, realize? Don't drop two K. By the way, don't drop it as a super chat because you know that it, that YouTube takes forty. You realize that if I did that, I would use part of that two K to just go buy another one. I'm just. I'm being. I'm putting it all out there. I'll be honest. <laughs> So okay, we it looks like we're gonna have a. Uh, it looks like we're gonna. Uh, let it's me. It's gonna get be an, fifteen uh, spots at twenty dollars a spot. I'm I'm losing forty dollars on this because. Of I play. think that's fair. I think that's yeah. more than fair. So we'll go ahead and do that for you. Uh, we will uh, our swags will set up a waffle for you guys. And uh, if the the thing with the high invade forum Facebook group too is if Swags gets to 500 subs on his YouTube channel, we will be doing a um, like a waffle slash giveaway thing in the High and Vape forum, and we'll be doing something in the Vape Stew crew. So make sure you guys are going and subbing to Vapor Swaggin's YouTube channel. Yeah. I, uh, I'm actually – I have a video coming out where I lick Jay Hayes' nasty toe that's like dis, – dis connected from we're not going to get it we're not going to talk about that well um, you've been talking about jay this whole time so no i, I have not no i have not the dude okay look i want to talk about this thing real quick okay. i don't know if any of you guys have seen the 67 go um i had issues with it when i first got it the 510 was messed up and i haven't had a chance to use it since because i've been waiting on the parts and they sent a new 510 they took care of me. They sent a new 510, um, and the thing is awesome since. And I'm glad that I was able to help them figure out what the problem was because I got one of the very first ones. Uh, and it seems like now they all have the new 510, or the, they don't. They don't have the issue anymore. Um, I think they're going to be doing another <laughs> run of a different uh, one that comes with an RTA. I think so. You guys should check out 67 because this thing is cool i like it the whole damn thing fits in my hand what are you laughing about now i'm not even i'm laughing at jay because jay was like i'm gonna he's disrupting and he's like i'm gonna leave now and do my own show but before that he said he's gonna give each of us a thousand dollars and then he'll give me five thousand subs (laughs) (laughs) bro let's be honest next thing next thing he's gonna be he's gonna be trying to get everybody to get tattoos of jay hayes on their hands yeah, so. <laughs> I don't have any tattoos in my body it's my religion, so it's going to cost you a lot more than money to get me to do that. Look, I like the I mod. Doing, I cool. like the mod too much to throw it against the wall. I was giving it as a gift, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I appreciate the offer of 2K, though, Jay. We're still cool. <laughs> Thanks, um, okay. Yeah. So, here we go. Um, it's called the low-end vape place. 
Jake, can I come on? <laughs> <laughs> I just got a pug from Vaporgate. Is that low end enough? Oh, and we are out of hand. Um, Why not? I mean, this is it, – it's kind of – we're loose to loose today we have two a whole people that aren't here so we have lots of extra space to talk about random shit you know what mm. dude one of the first iron rtas i ever bought was this whisper and it still does it for me to this and day. and you like, still tag me in posts for it i'm like i don't want one i've been I trying to get you to day. buy one for forever for like a year. i like the whisper over the who's rx the project x oh i don't even use my x it's just it sits on my stand because it's 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 a Hussar product. I need to have one in my collection. I mean, I absolutely love it, and I like it in mouth to lung mode, but... When, I can curse uh, on Jay's show? What? Charlie just said I can curse on Jay's show. I'm down. How much do I have to pay? <laughs> I, got, I got a sweet logo. Does that help? Uh anyways sorry you I do have a sweet logo i like your logo by the way uh vapor swaggins signature hats <laughs> this is just like shameless promotion plug yeah show. shameless promotions um what were we what was what we talked about this before the show what, were we, what else were we going to go to we we're going to talk about uh stratum the black blast that's being uh yes the black Tuesday. blast the sweet looking mod that has i'm sorry stratum it has the terrible name black blast <laughs> But why don't you tell us a little bit about that because I'm curious and uh, I'll go find the yeah I'll go find the show. It's a stuff. collaboration. Oh, so if you guys are familiar with Stratum and Union K, uh, they did the Starwood mod. Um, it's a mech mod. It's small, 18650 squonker, mech squonker, and it's Stabwood. Um, uh, if you went to the show at NVE, if you've seen their booth, you've probably seen a few of them. They bring them with them. But Union K is basically a modder that works with OLC Stratum. Um, that's not them. That's the notion. Um, but, uh, outside of that, it's a stab wood. It's a tiny, I'm pretty sure it's like the same size, if not a tiny little bit smaller than this. Um, it's a DNA 60 stab wood, single 18, 650 non squonk regulated device. Um, obviously DNA 60, but, uh, that's being released. Um, on Tuesday, there's a countdown timer on Store, and I'm really torn because I just bought this. I want the black version of this, and then the black blast is coming, and I know they're going to be really limited. Um, but Stabwood, man, me and Stabwood just don't get along because I know for a fact that it's going to sit somewhere or if it's in the sun for too long or something like that, it's going to get dry and crack. And I'm like the value, the value for me. Um, I think the price point's okay on it. Um, I think it's 475 USD with our code that's free priority shipping. So you're, you're talking about 475 flat. But outside of that, um, I mean, RTAs, there's no secret that RTAs are, are the thing right now. Um, I'd like to see more coming out. Um, the 415 just came out with a new deck. I mean, that's another thing that's cool too. It's like, imagine the Dwarf, right? The Dwarf um, is you know, build the choice or build the taste. You kind of go on their website and you build the whole RTA from the ground up. You buy the deck, et cetera. It's like, it'd be kind of cool to see these modular RTAs, which with upgrades that are just like, all right, all I have to do is literally unscrew this post and I can pull the whole center of the deck out and install a different type of the deck and it's, it's upgraded or whatever. You know, it's like, it's more to that high end mentality of, you buy one thing and you can accessorize the shit out of it and have that one thing for the rest of your time vaping. Like the billet box, for instance, you buy one billet box and you can change all aspects of it so that like by the time you're done, the only thing that's the same is like the frame. All right. So here is the Black Blast right here. The price on it is four seventy five. It's pretty pricey, but... You know, look at the look at how the five ten is set down. Um, but the lip here probably would interesting. So Are the you lip sharing? here, yeah, I am sharing the lip on the five ten itself on the threads. Looks like it'll keep the mo the R the atomizer off of the five ten and actually flush with the mod, but. I guess it'll help with heat transfer, keeping that gap there. I don't know. It is a tiny, tiny mod. What's the chip in it? DNA 60. But I also saw I saw an RTA with a beauty ring. 
So you can rock a beauty ring. It, it'll rock up to a 24 millimeter Addy. It's got a whole lot of of uh, etching on that 510 too. It's got a weird 510. I've never, I'm not sure if I recognize it. It's got four um, like four star screws, and I kind of like the raised section on the threading. It's interesting. It doesn't look that different um, to me. Looks- I don't really know what's super special about it, other than other than it's a tiny little mod with like a sexy line. It's stab wood and it's small. Well, That's yeah, what's different about it. I mean, it. I get it. Um, it's definitely appealing to uh, a lot of people and to me. I do like the black wood look. Um, a lot of people try to get that with like an engraved Delrin, you know. But yeah. it is a jet black wood. Uh, it's it's very sexy little mod. I think I prefer the look of your Stratum uh, V4, though. The white one. Yeah. I mean, they're different looks, subtly different. <clears throat> they I mean, are. They has, are. Here, let's go just, to that. These are different variations, but really what's appealing about it is that most Stabwood mods you'll find are big. Bigger, if you will. Bulkier. You know, more flamboyant, more loud. Um, this, what I like about OLC and Stratum is that their collaborations or what they do, they're very classic. Even the ones that are like stainless mods or black, uh, P PM, PM coded PDM PDs, PDT. Anyways, the black coded's whatever, like that one right there, that straight of 505 black ornament, they're still classy. I mean, even if they're a little bit loud, like cause of the design on them, it's like, it's even, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a yin and a yang or whatever. Right. Right. The um <clears throat> I guess one good thing about this black blast. Okay. If you don't like it does the- look like a sponsored NASCAR, Jay, you're right. I mean, but if anything, if they're gonna put all the logos on, I was just thinking about that when you were showing it. I mean, there's a lot of logos right there, but they're gonna be covered. That- yeah, they're gonna be covered. The 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 one thing I th- I think when you the showed M-coded, me coded, that's a, that's techno. Sorry, go ahead. When you showed me that white stratum V4, uh, I really liked it. I like the form factor. I like the way it feels. I like the button. Uh, I didn't like the joystick. I don't like the joystick with that chip. So I guess one good thing about having like the same kind of form factor is if you really like the V4 and you're looking for something that's like this has the this has the DNA 60 in it. Um, it's got more of the traditional up and down buttons. Dude, uh, DNA 60 is a great chip. Like it's absolutely, only, in my opinion, the only redeeming quality of the Squeebo is like it's a DNA 60. I'm trying to think what I have a Squeebo too. Is that the only thing I have it in? Ah, uh, you have a billet box. Yeah, the billet box is in that. I never have any issues with it. I love it. It works just fine. Um. Sorry, I'm I'm sitting here now. I'm scrolling through Stratum. Let's look at what else they have to offer because I saw a couple of decent things on here. Um, 502 versus the Lucid RDA Go. Um, I think <laughs> that I don't like dual vertical coil Addies. So you can't you can't really compare the two. Um, the what I'm looking at currently, I'm sharing the screen on the Stratum website is that. Prestige Mini, the Stratum Zero Prestige Mini that I'm going to get from you. I'm going to steal from you. It's basically the same thing, only 18350. And, uh, it's got the MOSFET in it, which is... Yeah, I'm a fan of the 18350. The 230 price tag, what's the price on the 18, on the normal one? I don't remember. I uh, the look. Prestige, the 18, this one? 300. 300. For this the is 300. The Prestige. The uh, Elegance is 280. It's the same thing as this, but with the satin coating. Yeah. Um, and then the Classic is the one that comes with none of the extras, and that's like uh, I think 200 or 220. Oh, dude, they've even got the Capo by No Name. Um, yeah, yeah, that's new. The Basically, small... the thing the thing about that is it's it's got it uses Nautilus coils and it's it's what? basically proprietary. Yeah, it's it's not rebuildable. It's Nautilus coils. Um, it uses holy crap. Let me share this. I didn't know that. I just yeah. thought it was an eighteen three fifty mod. The Capo by No Name. This thing it comes with the atomizer. T W D C. I uh, the oh wow. Mod. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's all right. What were you going to say? 
Um, I was just answering TWDC247. So what do you think about the Squeebo? Dude, I like the sandblasted no name capo. Dude, Jay, you you're 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 a riot, bro. What do you say now? He said okay. swags swag is cool. I hung out with him at Expo. It was nice seeing someone fangirl over me that's a grown ass man. <laughs> Uh, you know what? The, the, I think that the highlight for me at NVE was when I was standing behind the Australian booth and I turned my head and then a little velvet sack comes flying at my face and I catch it. And then I see Jay on the other side of that exchange and he says, you owe me. And I was just like, oh my God, what is this? What could this even mean? It could be anything. I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. It was the DLC, uh, Jenna, right? Yeah, dude, and I, I haven't put it down since. You know what, man? I was on the website to grab one, <clears throat> and uh, I don't know why I just didn't. I like got distracted or something. I walked away from the computer, and uh, I don't know if they're still available or not. But it's just a good. It's, it's a sexy. A it's a sexy RDA. RDA. It's just good, man. And Jay's here, and it is what it is. Think what you want to think, but I liked the stainless. Well, I like the stainless. I like this even more because it's the same Addy, right? With uh, different deck material, all blacked out, different, you know, carbon-like coating or whatever uh, di- diamond-like carbon uh, coating. And on a mech, I don't, I don't rock this regulated. On a mech squonker, this is a point two on a mech squonker. It rocks, man. I love the vape I get off of this with the insert with the hole in it. Because the other one is worthless, in my opinion. I vaped the one that was like no hole in the top, and it just tasted it didn't it didn't taste like anything. But this one with the hole <clears> in the top, <throat> fantastic vape. I'd say this is a top five vape for me. I can vouch. Swags uses the gin on the daily. But um, real quick, I had a question in the chat about that no name capo that I was showing, which is I have to get one now because that's cool as shit. I didn't know that it used. I got to see how they're doing that. <clears throat> I want to tear one apart, but. Uh, somebody said, "Was that rust in the mod?" And no, it's it's just red O rings. They use, they're using red O rings around the fill ports and around the uh, coil itself. So that's what that it's was. I just went back idea. and looked. I like the fact that No Name continues to do what they want to do. It's like like you said, it's like what that's proprietary. That takes coil heads. Yeah, you know, and it's like not only is it an all in one eighteen three fifty with the you know their unique like two two tube system where you're pushing up on it. But it's got a built-in like little sub ohm tank. Have you seen it? Yeah, I, it was at a. In person? I was, yeah, I was holding. I was checking it out at. Does NBE. it thread off to use it as a normal mech mod? No, no, no. It's it's per, it's it's with that only. You can only use okay. it. With the, the. What do you can? I, I, I was call wondering it because tank. I wouldn't use a hybrid mech mod with anything that took coils because they're usually a uh, a press fit five ten. Um, inside. I didn't take the whole thing apart because I was just kind of looking at it um, there. Um, now that you're not handsome swaggins, I don't know, man. I was going to shave my beard off and just have a mustache and a soul patch, but I decided I'm going to buy a new set of clippers because I've been using the same ones for years and and gradually trim it down before I just had the mustache. No, why don't you tell him what happened, why you did He goes, Stan... Okay, since since we're gonna since we're getting off topic and everything anyway, he goes, uh, "Hey Stan, uh, I just paid off my credit card. I want to uh, I want to buy like a, a decent set of beard trimmers." I said, "Here's the ones I always recommend. I've recommended them to a few people. They got them and they love them. These are this is an awesome set, uh, awesome beard trimmer." Um, and I sent him the link. He's like, "Sweet, I really need a good one." And then he didn't even buy it. And why was that, Swags? Why was what? Why did I? Why did I not want to buy it? Or I was going to buy it. The one thing that I needed to buy, I didn't buy yesterday because I spent like too much money. I bought <laughs> I bought a I bought a pug by Vaporgate because I wanted something to throw my gear RTA on. Um, and I bought a Lazy Vapor Skinny uh, mod for Cardos, and uh, and I bought I bought some wireless headphones. So he he gets me all on this thing. Like I go looking for him. I get the the, the 
I get the link and everything, and then uh, he charged up his credit card on a whole bunch of other stuff and didn't even buy the trimmers. So there you go. That's that's Swaggin's uh, ADD trip of the day. And uh, Jay Hayes, thank you very much for the two hundred and fifty dollar <laughs> freaking <laughs> freaking super chat. He says, "If you aren't now, then you should be." Stand up, stand proud. Hashtag cornball awareness for swag and hashtag stealing stealing miles since 2019 for Stan. Stealing smiles, yeah. <laughs> stealing smiles. <laughs> uh, I'll hold your rainbow, champ. Oh, and by the way, break that dumb shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thank blame you very Noah. much. Huh? Noah Rivera. Yeah, thank you, Jay. By the way, you gave 40. Per- it's a thing, man. I love it. I love to see donations, but since I found out how much YouTube takes, I'm just like, I'd rather people be like, give that money to, you know, rescue animals or something like that. Let's, let's just water this down with a cliche. Anyways, Noah Rivera, he's the reason why I dropped the money. Let's be honest. Seth Catley, AKA Lazy Vapors Box Mods, he makes beautiful work. They're not for everybody. His, his designs are beautiful. I cannot deny that, but they're just not for me. So when I saw this thing, I was like, DNA 75C Cardo device that's super thin, has a lipo in it. I can choose my resin pour, blah, blah, blah. I was like, this will be the mod that I buy. And I regret it a little bit because that's a lot of money to spend on something that you just use like a Cardo in. Um, But I did it and it's Noah's fault. This is my most current Lazy Vapors box I mean, look at that he custom pours that was resin panels it's gorgeous it's just I have, like i have like the generate i have like each generation right this is the first one i got from him and you can see this is the second the parallel that i got from him and it's big and fat good, Jay. thanks for hanging out brother and uh this is the one that my wife purchased from him as a gift for me this is a mech mod and you can see this one needs to be polished, but I mean, it's really sexy when it's all polished up. But then this is the latest and most current and also the most well put together versions that he has now. And I mean, the dude, you can, he takes a lot of pride in his work. Um, he does sexy work. He pours these resins himself. Um, <laughs> Michelle Lynn asked, will you be splitting Jay's super chat with me for swaggins? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> maybe, maybe Swags and I haven't. We've we've discussed that before, haven't we? Charlie five dollars. Yeah, we have. Charlie five dollars. Does Swaggins use one of those lady aprons to trim his beard? Oh, and great show today. Two panel show. Lives matter too. That's funny. <clears throat> I actually don't even have the. I don't have the trimmer attachments for the current one that I have. I've moved too many times and just lost it. So I literally sit there and I like very carefully you know get the stragglers if i sneeze or anything it's gone that's why you'll know my, bro my, the stragglers you take care of with sharp scissors no nah. like really sharp scissors you get the sharp scissors and you like you what oh, you whoa, do whoa, 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 whoa. wait 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 this is important have you heard of the aeon rda there's a list posted it's by vanquish mods what i don't even think i've looked at it or i probably have and i forgot about it robert but more than robert like uh, uh, several people have mentioned it dude so we uh list. We see so many things, um, like, because we all share things that we see that we won't, like, half the time, I don't even remember what we looked at. So, you telling me that right now is making me go look. And thank you, Charlie, again, for the $5. Two panel show lives matter, too, I guess. Yes. Vanquish Mods. What's, is there, is, what's the group name? Vanquish Mods. No, it didn't come up. It says on the Vanquish, you spell Vanquish right? Vanquish Mods Facebook group. I haven't looked at the Aeon. Dude, the sick row is still going strong. I haven't like been really looking for it, um, but because I think it's ugly. Um, but people keep swearing by it. A sick row. At Vanquish Mods, I went to that. Vanquish Mods. See, yeah, Ricky. Is- see, Ricky understands. And Ricky's beard is on point. Ricky's a handsome man. <clears throat> okay, here it is. I don't know if this is on their page. So I guess we can show it since it's on their page, right? Because their page is public. Secret group. That's why you can't find it. Well, then, shit, man. Invite. No, 
I found their I found their page though, and it shows their uh, the RDA. So hold okay. on a second. I will get you can go ahead and fill the time here. I will set something up real quick. Nick Pinkerton, what's up? Vanquish mods. Let me uh, get this all. Just sat is an admin of the group. Well, just sat. Is it a good RDA? I think I've got all the personal stuff covered here. Okay. I want <laughs> fictitious character. I want a Sicro because they're exclusive. That's exactly why I got the Integra. Not because it's a really good RTA or anything, just because it's super freaking exclusive. So this is the only real picture that's oh, showing God. up. Hold on, let me uh let me just edit this thing here. Here we go. <clears throat> and here. Okay. So I'm switching over to a <laughs> screen share now, Swags, just so you Thank know. Thank you, Bjorn. So this is the Vanquish Mods um, Aeon RDA. It's got like a weird E. Oh, it's not working. Black. Gotta, That's what gotta, we get. I got to wait for it to pop up on the other screen. No, it's not. It's not doing it. Um, it's transition. It's just going to be black. It's doing that thing. It <laughs> has a hard time with Facebook. The screen share has a hard time with Facebook screen captures. Yeah. David Motrimal's Facebook in general. Like you wonder why, why like, I do live streams for waffles and whatnot and I've gotten the hang of it, but Facebook is just such a pain in the ass. It just does not like to work with anything that's good and easy. But David Motrim, thank you so much for the one pound 99 twice. Hashtag save the beard fund. And then save he said, the beard uh, fund. Then he said, shit. Two donations. I don't like it that much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, yeah, black screen. Sorry about that. Vaping art has the Flav RDTA. Are you talking um, about the Alliance Tech Flav RDTA or the Flavor RDTA? Well, he wrote Flav with an E, so I'm assuming he's talking about the Alliance Tech. Yeah. I mean, it's just like I hear, I know that we, I mean, we, is one of my favorite trolls of all time. So I don't know if he's trolling me or if, cause there are a lot of people that call the flavor, the Flav. I'm like, it's not the Flav. That's a totally different company. Dude reviews. Thank you very much for the $2 donation. He says at vapor swaggins, don't shave the beard. You guys are going to have to talk to my wife. <laughs> he's going to swags is going to buy like a really high end, uh, shaving kit. And, uh, <sighs> To, to get rid of his beard. So that's what he's actually waiting I on. I should have bought the $65 beard trimmer and not the $350 headphones, the $275 Cardo device, and the whatever dollar pug. Mailman yes. Vapes 2 says he tagged me. Thank you very much. I'll, uh, I'll go check it out after this. Um, and it looks like they are talking about the Alliance Tech. Thank you, Leo. Okay. Leo. Thank you, Leo. Um... Robert Riggins says, I got Flav RDA available on the cheap. You know what, man? If you want to try, like, I wouldn't call Alliance Tech, like, really super high end, but it's like that really nicely put together really? um, middle of the road type what stuff. What do you know about Alliance Tech? What? Well, let's talk about Alliance Tech because you're saying that they're not high. Or, like, you wouldn't put them in the same class as, like, Cyclone, would you? I wish, Bob. I don't think I could handle Man. the beard. I'm not tall enough. Would I put him in the same class as as, as I think? Because I think Cyclone is like higher middle level stuff. Not three hundred and seventy five dollar headphones, bro. Oh, I thought you were high end. I mean, what's what's a high end price for headphones? Sorry, sorry, Stan. Tony Mitchell, thank you for the five dollars. He's a swaggins. Do the guy Fox look? Oh. I got a picture in Messenger. Of what? Uh, that's another thing too. Facebook sucks. Like when people message you, message you through your page, such a pain in the ass. Okay. Can I share screen or no? No, you can't. It'll mess up the thing. But you All can right, well, you can show it on your phone if you bring it up on your phone. It's fine. It looks pretty interesting. It kind of looks. It, it would would I be crazy to say that it looks like an Akko, but with, you know, with like one of those, it's just got a different airflow looking thing. It doesn't look anything like an Akko, let's be honest. Dude, Texas Cloudtown, you can't make fun, you don't have the beard, you don't have the beard game to be making fun of people trimming with scissors, bro. Thank you, Doug. That's that's how you do it. 
you get the scissors like after you do your initial shave and everything like with the the trimming and the shaping then you get the scissors and you just take care of the the whiskers the like the the wispies anyways yeah um, lines tech what about them <clears throat> well you were we were talking about oh, like would i put the them class. in the same category dude i like cyclone um i think cyclone is a mainstream company that does nice stuff uh really nice stuff um i'm cyclone's chinese made right well yeah basically he yeah. designs and then he sends his designs to a company in china and yeah i don't see any issues with that if the product's done well and they do the products well as i mean as long as they're like, not trying to classify themselves as high end i don't see any I, I, I kind of put qp and cyclone in the same kind of space don't you wouldn't you if anything that regardless is designed in usa designed in malaysia designed in japan made in china it's not high end i mean there are some groups Why? where you can't there's some groups where you can't even post armor mechs or dmods products because there's you know an underlying you know story or, or or rumor that they're made in china even if they were small batch made in china handmade hand sourced whatever there's a thing there's a stigma around china and the market from China where it just isn't categorized as high end. That's where you get into the, you get into this like super specific realm of like pedigree and like all these other things where, you know, where NAR mods is, where Geppetto mods is, where it's like, it's worth these price tags because of the pedigree, because they can ask for it, because of exclusivity, because of resellability. The, the, the thing, I understand. I don't think Alex McKenzie knows you're uh, Jewish. <laughs> he said, you said? Alex McKenzie, two, two pound. Thank you very much. He says, Hitler, Hitler stash or go home at Vapor Swackens. <laughs> My father would, would uh, disown me. <laughs> um, I don't understand. Like, I, I do know that that's how it's looked at in the community. Um, anything that's made in China usually isn't accepted as any kind of high end, even regardless of how nice and clean it is or done well. Um, <clears throat> I don't a hundred percent understand that mindset, but, <clears throat> and I'm not saying that because there's high end, like a ton of high end stuff out there from China, but I, I don't understand that concept because what if there was like a, or if there may be that I just haven't seen yet a really super nice high end company or company that's doing what I would consider a high-end device out of China, they're automatically not gonna not gonna get any kind of notoriety or anything because people have that automatic mindset. Oh, it came out of China. Yeah, think about it this way: it's like American cars. <clears throat> you know, you have a BMW; it's luxury. You have a Ford Escort; it's not luxury. I mean it's a loose analogy, but you get what I'm saying. It's like to talk about an industry where it's like, all right, well you see American made vehicles that are, they're not luxury vehicles. They're not seen as luxury vehicles because they're American vehicles, whatever, you know, even with Japanese vehicles, it's like, it's a very niche. But when you talk about BMW, when you talk about Lexus, Audi, I mean, those are luxury sports cars, but really they're just a luxury. Those are luxury lines of like Toyota and stuff like that. But BMW, um, Mercedes, those are luxury vehicles. Okay. Um, you know, uh, Lamborghini, when you get up into that, like Ferrari, stuff like that. So you would consider like, like Cyclone and Alliance tech. See, I kind of, I kind of, I don't consider know about Alliance tech. I thought Alliance tech was made in France. I just, I don't know. Like, I, I don't really consider, Alliance I don't have, tech, I don't have anything by Alliance tech. I, have, I don't really like, consider Alliance tech like super high end. Like I just don't like no. the, the quality is nice and everything, but it just doesn't feel like or seem or look like some That's of the others. That's because they don't play the game that way. Well, That's another thing, man. Who plays the game and how do they play it? I mean, Greece plays the game really well. But if mm. they were flooding the market and not playing, I mean, would the skyline be as prestigious as it is three years later, two year, two and a half years later, um, if not for the way that ESG does their thing? It's a great Addy. It's really well built, but we're saying the same thing about Flav. You know, Flav is really nicely machined, et cetera, but mm -hmm. it's prestigious. I mean, think about it this way with Sentinel, Hellfire, or uh, Addy Smith, you know, 
they do everything, even the screws, even their screws, they machine themselves. That is the epitome of high end. It's and so they have clean though. It's so clean, man. Yeah. So clean. I love Hellfire. Um, I'm sure they've had their hiccups here and there, just like any company. But I, I, everything I've got from Hellfire has been freaking so clean and sexy and just, just like Narmod, same thing. It's just all been done so damn well. I would say Alliance Tech would be the Cadillac, Chris Snyder, not Cyclone. Yeah, see, that's where I was kind of going with it. Um, you kind of consider Alliance Tech and and those companies to be kind of like I wouldn't the luxury. I wouldn't put Alliance Tech in the same. The luxury thing. car kind of category. And then what you put like um, Narmods and those kinds of companies up in like the Bentley section, you know, like the super high end custom or not necessarily custom in the vape scene, but you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You get, you get where I'm going. Um, I guess I can, I kind of agree with that. Um, it, there's, there's just, there's just levels in, and, and just like with anything in vaping, it's all subjective. You're going to look at things completely different, and what you think is worth something is not going to be worth something to another well, person. Well, that's where we're talking about boutique. Yeah. You know, you can bring versus, that up. That's yeah, fine. boutique. Thank you. Boutique versus, um, versus high end is craft. In essence, in essence, think about it this way. Geppetto, again, you know, my limited knowledge of Geppetto is because I'm just not interested. Uh, I don't do stab wood that often, but I can understand it from an objective standpoint. Um, when they started, were they not boutique? You know, and then they built uh, they built a brand. They they built hype around it. They put the work in, and like I said, resellability. Like we talked about the Monarch, the Aspen Modco Monarchs. They custom tool all this stuff that he's got right there. I got one on my shelf. It's got a high end price tag. It's stab wood. It's a it's a dual parallel mech. I mean, in essence, it checks a lot of boxes for high end, but what makes it boutique is the fact it is the fact that they do a release every week for 10 or so mods. And so in essence, for me, when I'm checking boxes or I'm thinking in my mind, how do I justify or how do I categorize? You know, they're a newer, they're a newer company, but at the same on the same tier, the resellability. It's like if I turn around and try to resell this, is it highly sought after and can it maintain its value or will I get as close to its value? Like, look at the Integra by v Vapeware, you know? It, it's it's a secret group, it's really hard to get it, and it's really well machined and it's a nice Addy. People are spinning those for, you know, double RRP. You're paying 220 to your door shipped for that Addy, and people are selling it for 450 and not even batting an eye. We that said, is typical high end. We069 says, so would the Typhoon be a caddy? It's readily available and easily accessible. I don't think, I don't think some people will, no. and I've said it before that um, exclusivity, uh, there's a lot of exclusivity in the high end game and everything, but I don't think yeah, availability okay. necessarily dictates that. Yeah. Um, that's just, that's me. where it's so weird, man, because it's like, it's almost like there's a certain number of check boxes. But there's a bunch of categories that you can put into that list. And as long as you meet that number of checkboxes with the right categories, then you can call it what it is. It's so hard to say. It's not as finite. I mean, you could talk about shoe heads, sneaker heads, where you, you buy certain type of sneakers. What makes that sneaker is when it retails for 200 bucks, sell for 1200 Look at Franken, Franken Skull. Mm -hmm. You know, what makes a Delrin box so expensive Prestige, i will tell you pedigree i'll be 100 percent honest i don't get the franken skull thing prestige hype yeah i mean that's availability and, there's there's powers behind the scenes that are pushing something this look at the m addy look at the Akko. there's no reason why something like that the Akko, should be more money than a freaking hellfire product those things like the hellfire strike i don't have one but i can appreciate the fact that the seams are so the, the machining is so mint that you can't even see the seams in the barrel. It's it blows my mind. That should be eight hundred dollars. Hey. That should that could that could justify the same cost as an Aco or an M Addy, which from what I hear, the Aco is a good vape. The M Addy is an awful vape, but the M Addy M Addy is go for like twelve hundred bucks. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I'm just gonna put this out there real quick. 
everybody that's tagging me in chat and stuff, for some reason, it is not letting, it keeps signing me out of YouTube. So that's why I keep asking if it's still going because it's signing me out of YouTube. I don't know why um, it keeps on doing it and it's not letting me reply to the chat. It, so I'm not going to mess with anything just so I don't end the stream by accident. Um, but just so that you guys know, I am seeing your stuff. Uh, what's up, ID Vodka and, and uh, Money Man? Yeah, that's the thing. Um, Michelle, I try to tech, check my text sometimes when I'm on a show, but I'm on a show. So, uh, and there's two of us, so I'm not checking my text, but thank you for letting me know you texted me. I'll check. Yeah, it. we don't, we don't. We don't like to go on like the phones and stuff yeah. and everything when we're on, unless it's like something really important. Um, because you guys are our focus. But our Robert focus is here. Robert Riggin, who is a G, um, I was chatting with him when I was looking at getting my four and five RTA and stuff, and he gave me some insider questions to ask or whatever. So that was cool. Um, I wound up getting a V one point five deck for my RTA because he was talking about it. And he's like, "Dude, just ask him." And I was like, "Good idea." Um, so thank you, sir, for that. But he said the Aco is all titanium, um, IIRC. I don't know if that makes it a better grade of titanium or whatever. I understand that when you're doing small batches and stuff, it's expensive, but it's titanium, dude. Like it's not like it's Damascus. Well, okay? there's different there's different grades of titanium. At the same time, Mike in LA said Alcos are badass. I agree, and Swags will Swags will vouch. I yeah. really want an Alco. Like I want one. I don't. But- I wouldn't say I don't. I mean, that's the thing. With the trifecta, it's a good RDA. It's just seven hundred plus dollars. Yeah. I mean, that is a total different level of that's that's Frankenskull level where it's like, I love this cycloid. It's two hundred and sixty bucks, and it's yeah. everything about it. I mean, geom- geom- geomods, geometric designs. I mean, it is every millimeter is accounted for in this, and it hits hard. It functions. It feels good in the hand. I love it. I love everything about this and it's under 300 bucks and they're not really easy to get. You know, right now you, I think that they have some of the white Delrins available on their website, but regardless, you know, it's availability. They made it available. They could have not made it available. They could have, I mean, these are still the real resale still there. They're still high end. It's not $700 because it doesn't need to be. That's, they're not robbing you here, but at the same time, it's a passion thing. So I'm not discounting or casting judgment on somebody who wants to spend 750 on an Akko, that's great. And there's a lot of street cred that you'll get somewhere where showing that off, like wearing Yeezys or something. If you want to be able to, sh- you're buying it to show it off, by all means, it's your money. Do what you want to do. But I just don't think that it needs to be that expensive. Well, I actually had a, uh, an opportunity to purchase an Alco, and um, I believe Mac Tandon helped me out with that. And it was $600? Uh, man, I'd much rather. Oh, if I recall correctly, sorry, Robert. Yeah, so it was type of titanium. Thank you. I'd much rather spend that money on a really kick-ass mod that I'm never gonna get rid of, um, or or you know, three different RTAs, two different RTAs. You know, like I I have a really hard time designated, and that's 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 another thing. Like I was talking about worth to somebody. Six hundred dollars is a lot of money to spend on an RDA, in my opinion, and yeah. it's just like the um, the the cap for the Jenna that we were talking about, that that Damascus cap that's five hundred bucks. That's a, somebody in we were talking about that uh, on Vape Stew, and somebody in the chat said, or I'm sorry, not in the chat, in the comment section afterwards said, "How could you be on a high end show and all this stuff?" and say that 500 is too much for you to spend uh, on that. And I was like, that's just, that's my limitation, bro. That's too much money for me to spend on a cap. I'm not going to do that. You Except know, no limitations. <laughs> Except no imitations. This is the oh. high-end vape forum. All right. <laughs> but that's that's my opinion. That's where I draw my personal lines. I mean, that's, you know, everybody's got their everybody's got their stuff i've I'd... tasted the flavors to speak to stan's point i've tasted the flavors i've spent like i have my clz right here. i've gone i've gone full retard and i've i've i spent <laughs> 700 i've spent 750 dollars to have this custom made and i love it but i'm not doing it again like it's just like especially when you get to a point with this for me it's Equally as much as enjoying, I enjoy the pursuit. I enjoy the resale. I enjoy trading, selling, whatever. I just traded um, my DDP mech for a Mako, 
um, you know, which I thought for me, I've wanted to make and I was like, someone asked, I was selling it for a good price. And someone was like, will you take trades? And I said, sure, a Mako. And then somebody else hit me up and said, I have a Mako with some doors. You want to trade? And I was like, sure. But like when you start to get up $500 plus, people want to trade. They don't want to sell. They don't want to buy. I mean, so it's like, it gets harder to move something. It, the, you know, 500 plus people spend weeks. You spend weeks working a deal out with somebody. And honestly, people will gripe over $8 shipping. Like you'll be working a deal out with somebody for two weeks. And then all of a sudden what makes or breaks the deal is whether or not you include priority shipping. You mean just, you're going to, you're going to cancel the deal over $310 with, uh, because you wanted it 300 dude. It happens yeah, exactly. all the time. Like, but think about it this way, not even 300 when you're talking like 550, it's like $550 for this, you know, are right, we negotiated down to 500 and or 508 and it's like 500 and I'll do it. It's like, you won't do it for 508. That's literally five, five Oh seven ninety. You know, I'm making 10 cents there or like it's it's $7.90 for priority shipping in the States now in a small flat rate or whatever. You're going to like, there are people that literally that'll make, make, make or break a deal. And that'll, that's up to you. I mean, I've been in situations where I've had two weeks of working a deal with somebody and just didn't want to lose the 790 and lost the deal. So it's like, I don't mess with 500 plus unless I'm really going to keep something. There's plenty of people out there that will do it though. I mean, like just because it's not worth it to me doesn't mean it's not worth it to swags or to somebody else swags has given me shit about stuff that i've bought and i've uh, at prices and i've given him shit about stuff he's bought at certain prices so that's just how it is because <clears throat> we may not talk about what we spend out in the open but we're close friends and we will talk about things like back and forth because we like to know where certain products stand and uh <clears throat> yeah it's it's sometimes it gets kind of funny <laughs> oh so Michelle Lynn makes mods out of uh, vintage Altoids tins. Michelle, mm -hmm. I found I found a vintage Altoids tin for you to make a mod out of. Oh Check my this. gosh, it's an Altoids pod system. You should totally take like a small battery and put like a little five ten on top, and <laughs> this would be dope. <laughs> is those those strips? Slides, slides open. It's even got the strips. This is probably like circa twenty fifteen. <laughs> There that you would, go, your next talk mod about project. boutique like those those are what i would consider boutique those mods that she there makes is prestige there is prestige based around how she what this she does. is boutique in my opinion seth is boutique in my opinion yeah. um yeah. i think he's real close though man um i just that's there's a lot there's a lot of different different levels like we were talking about i i enjoy that conversation a lot um because i don't think there's a right or wrong answer I think Seth is high end. I th I think he's right there, man. I think he's real close. He's got he's got so clean in his in the way he um execution. He's got so clean in execution. I think like this, I wouldn't consider this high end because of how the battery tray is made. Um but boutique and really super clean, absolutely. Um I mean, I don't know though, dude, because think about it. Like even this mod right here, these battery tubes are purchased, pre-purchased. They're not milled. I understand. Purchased. I mean, but the pedigree, the prestige, and the assembling. I mean, that's what makes it. But how? How? Look at the execution of it. Whether or not it's it's a pre-purchased machined part. How clean and well is it incorporated into that design? Right. You well, know, exactly. Like even inside of here, in essence. Uh, 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 high end mod that it, it hides everything. You have to take everything apart to see the 510 assembly in there and to see your contact. It's mm -hmm. like you have to take that all apart to see the insides. Otherwise, it's just clean in there. And this yeah. space completely utilized. That to me is a clean, high end product. Right. And I'm not working for Cycloid, by the way. I wish I did because I stand by their product. Not Cycloid, uh, Geo Mods. <clears throat> it's been a really fun adventure um i've definitely slowed down um but it's been a really fun adventure speaking of clean i just looked over and saw this and it, it speaking of clean and how well things are executed i think the the, the limelight dna is executed fairly well absolutely though. well there i mean there's another thing right there made on made in serbia it's made, made out of delrin or no i'm sorry not delrin that um palm 
uh, that military grade. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt was, you. I thought it was Delrin. No, it's not Delrin. All right. Well, made in Serbia, made to order. You make your order on their website. It's available to you, but you're building it to order. You're paying and you're choosing every part of the device. You choose even with the regular ones. You choose your chip and it affects your price. And then it's built and then sent to you with your name on it, et cetera, you know? The only gripe I have, like, that's the other thing is, like, with with really nice, clean, well welcome, done. Mike. Huh? Sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> real nice, well done, clean, high-end devices. Um, it's real hard to find, uh, or what I would consider, like, really nice, high-end device. It's hard for me to find negatives with it. Uh, like, this one, the only issue that I have with this mod, been using it for months, um, is this this little thing right here that holds the bottle yeah, in that's my issue it's got I a little rattle to it and it's my uh gloom i just feel like it could have been done a little better to to not you know i mean it's a it's machined nicely it's a clean piece it's executed well it just i feel like it could be a little bit better so that it doesn't rattle around in there you yeah. know <gasps> excuse me uh, um but that's the only issue i have with that thing like this <clears throat> this thing right here this is not super expensive in my opinion this is not a super expensive mod, but I feel like it's executed very well. It's machined and finished awesome. Um, you know, it's just, there's no clicks, rattles. It's just, it's sexy. It's clean. Um, it's out of, uh, it's Pinoy, you know, and I, I just, I love this thing. What was this like 300 something right in the 300 range for, a custom the, Juma, yeah, for the Juma, yeah. DNA 250C, like, it's just, it's sexy. I like it a lot. I really do. I have no problem putting a Skyfall on top of it. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Like, it's a 250C. I mean, that is a end-all, be-all mod. When you get a 250C, you're never, especially with a single coil banger, you're dark. never gonna, hit, you're never gonna hit that that marker. You don't need that much power, but that's like a one-off that's all you'll ever need like i have a dna 250c device another boutique device um the warlocks guardian it's a dual 21700 this i bought because this right here is an addy stand a build station i can throw big big uh addies on top big tanks on top vape it be safe with how i'm building etc like it's a it's for me it's like i never bought a, an addy stand in or an, an addy a build station like any DNAs, never had one custom made because this for me is a mod build station. That's why I bought it. Also to support a great dude who makes great products, who is really good at the internals, very clean. Um, and that's why I have a 250C. I, even when I was vaping mech tubes all the time and vaping low, stuff like that, I still I still never hit that, that point, like maybe 130 watts max, but never over 200, 250. I mean, that's a lot of power. Sorry, I was reading chat a little bit. Oh, good. Yeah, it is a lot of power. And that's that's honestly, that's the only reason why it interested me because I've got other DPM mods. Yeah, well, it's unique to your collection yeah. too. And yeah. it's also unique in the sense of, I mean, price point uh, in high end, what are you seeing? Like, I'd love to hear from chat. What out there is available for squonks or non-squonks that's DNA 250C in high end? There's not you know? many. Exactly. If, if so. any more. Um <clears throat> There's, but also same thing with, um, like dual coil, big air kind of stuff. We've discussed exactly, that Charlie. too. There's not a whole lot of that out there either. Um, normally what I rock on this DPM is like the armor or something that that's dual that I could put, you know, a dual coil, big air right. on. Um, so, but even the armor, man, I mean, that 2.0 used. Yeah. I have the one, the V one and that i mean on a like with a 0.28 on like a single 20s in my my smuggler or whatever it it hits really really nice and it's probably you know not pushing that much power through it i don't need to even even with a dual coil i don't need to push that much power through such a small little chamber Somebody was asked, uh, Mac brought up them changing the bottle system and I was just showing him that I have the new bottle system. Like this is, yeah. they've designed and done that. This isn't a purchased product. They build these themselves and uh, it 
this is their new bottle system and it's dope. There's no wiggle. There's no nothing. Mike's still waiting. Is that he's talking about right now, Mike? About what? The two the two fifty C squonk. That that's the two. That's it, bro. Yeah, that's DPM. Just you message him in their group. Um, message- Doge, Dodge. Yeah, a lot of groups like this is the great thing about high end. If you have a question, obviously you can message one of us. Um, but most of the time, unless you see a post, like scroll through a group. When you join a group, look at the pin posts, the announcements. A lot of the times you'll see from somebody to be like, I mean, ESG is a perfect example. When they have an accessories list or whatever, it says, please do not message me. Do not PM me, email me. So, I mean, you want to be respectful there unless you have a rapport with this person, you know them. But most of the time you can go into a group and you can just message the modder and ask him, hey, do you have this available? And he'll talk to you about it or she'll talk to you about it. Also, what's really cool is is the High End Vape Forum Facebook group. There's a lot of modders in that group, in our group that, that you guys that don't post a lot. But if you put up a message, like not a message, but if you put up like a, a conversation starter, like does anybody know about this DPM Magi or they, you know, is ask questions. Um, there's a lot of people in our group that have a lot of different types, just like us. They have a lot of different stuff that are crazy about this stuff and they will give you their opinions and and it's not just it's not just like a high-end group that's about one type of product um so and sometimes the modder will reply themselves so just go ahead and and post up in the group and uh and start a conversation about anything you're interested in and whether or not we have our hands on it or not i'm sure you'll get a whole lot of opinions on people that'll speculate um and sometimes the modder two dollars from michelle win thank you very much she says two dollars for you stan i've been mode swaggins his two dollars already thank you Thank you, Michelle. You're very kind. Um, guys, we're coming to the end of the show today. It was a fun, uh, fun topic. Kind of a loose show because we're missing two of our, two of our beloved panelists. She literally um, did Venmo me two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I just that you popped me. Michelle, you kill me. Michelle cracks me up too. You guys, um, if you're interested in in her style boutique type Altoids tins, vintage style mods, which by the way, speaking of, I'll show something really cool that she doesn't do. She she doesn't sell the things, um, but it is cool to go look at. She made me a very special build station out of a vintage Lipton tea bag box, which is freaking sick in my opinion and she put the 510 over the o and it's it's not regulated but it is triple parallel so it's pretty safe when it comes to building on um yeah dude she does fantastic work and some of the cleanest cleanest freaking uh soldering that you'll ever see like she takes her time she takes i've seen her in zoom rooms taking the the jewelers files and things and making things just so pristine she does kick-ass job um so it's always cool to it's cool to see the small modders do their thing whether they're high-end or boutique or just hobbyists or whatever so <clears throat> um that's dull dime mods what's that well, we're closing, so I wanted to remind people that it seems like enough people are interested. We're going to do a waffle for this tomorrow on the high end vape forums. Keep your eyes out. Perfect. Yeah, uh, we Michelle totally teabagged me. Um, yeah, dude, we will be we'll we'll be doing that waffle on there. And don't forget about the 500 subs. When Swags gets to 500 subs, we'll be doing something special in both groups. Um, I have a. Ba 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 bam. <clears throat> This has been waiting to go to somebody. Those hoodies are so high end, man. Dude, this... Show me inside of the lining of the hoodie. Like the this is one of the nicest hoodies. It doesn't fit me, but I want to give it to you guys. So it's a really nice hoodie. This hoodie will go. Um... And you can take that patch off the back if someone's like, "Oh, well, I wouldn't want don't fuck with my cloud on the back of it." You can take that patch off. Um, so that that hoodie will be going. Also, uh, what was the damn it? I keep forgetting the name of that RDA that came in the wood box that we did the group buy for. Two seventy five, Michelle. That's what I paid. For what that was least. that RDA did the group buy for? The Nvidia. The Nvidia. That's yeah, the- I've got an Nvidia that's gonna go. Um, it's that's gonna a go good RDA. in. Yeah, that's gonna go in the giveaway thing. Uh, so 
So definitely, definitely make sure you guys join the High and Vape forum and go sub to Swags. He does the best 15 second videos in the industry. Let's just say I keep them under a minute. My retention is better than all of your favorite YouTubers. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Um, hey, you know what? Boom. I think we said all that we need to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Fun. Awesome. You guys. Hey, we love you very much. We appreciate everything that you guys stand for and that you come hang out with us for uh, swags. Is Are we going to, are we going to, is this a, is this a trigger moment? Are we going to trigger Jay? <laughs> you guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And remember, Alex McKenzie, thank you for the two pounds. He says, if I win the waffle, will you include beer trimmings? Absolutely. Add Bag of beer trimmings for stickers. Alex McKenzie. Vapor swag and stickers for all winners. Vape mm -hmm. on, friends. Safe.